Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie, and today we have Jim and the Like Crazy Music video. I'm going to film the songs tomorrow, but I want to watch this now. So let's just hop into the video. I actually have like two things filmed for BTS, but I'm releasing this first. Cause, uh, I think we could last Ooh. I'm afraid that everything will disappear. Just trust me. Oh. Oh, this is what I expected you're going to release. Look at those eyes. Is he like drunk on love? Oh. Let's see how this course goes. Oh, this reminds me of like something like Harry Styles would do. Which they went to a Harry Styles concert. And they did that in LA too, but now they met. My world collided there and that picture is actually my background right now because I love everything about that picture. Mmm. God, Jim looks beautiful. Oh, party boy! I feel like there's gonna be like a switch up and like this is all the ups but then there's gonna be some downs. I feel like, I feel like he's on his high here and he's about to like drop or something. Because the way it's written. Or maybe it's just gonna be a happy bop. The moon embraces, that's cool. Wow, this is everything I wanted. Did we have gay love there? I don't know, I can't tell. I love the way it's edited. This is exactly how I imagined Jim partying, so it's funny and cute. I don't know, I feel like something is gonna do something to switch. Oh, is he getting a love interest? She better not get hated on. Oh, this song is gonna be quite a repeat. Acne Studios. Oh, I like VC. Set Me Free. Oh, can't wait to see the behind the scenes. Oh my god. This song is so good. The way it's produced. His voice suits this production so well as well. Mmm, I love the break me, like the lower part. He just wants to... He wants to just not face reality. I love that, because it's realistic. He wants to stay in the... Because this is reality. <laughs> the I told you there'd be a little twist at the end. It's not going to be all happy. It's like he was on drugs and he didn't want to be out of the drug. I don't think that's, I don't think it's supposed to be drugs. It's just alcohol. But like, it, it reminds me of like songs where it's like you want to stay drunk and like you want to stay in the high because you don't want to face the reality of the low. Because usually when people are taking drugs or alcohol or whatever, it's like to escape reality. So he's- it, I love the way he did that. Like, but even the scenes, a lot of the scenes 
where he was at the party or a club or whatever he he didn't he looked like he was kind of just lost there and there was only a few scenes where he was just like having a lot of fun and partying but most of the time when he was there it looked like he was just kind of watching everyone else and not in the moment because yeah i don't wow that was that was so good that was so good see like there's these scenes where he's actually partying and having fun it's like maybe that's when he got there i thought I don't know what that was about because I thought that was like gonna, something was gonna happen there. So then there's like those scenes and this scene and this scene where he looks lost and confused. This is like my favorite part. Wasting time. Like, he's not thinking about anything right now, he's just enjoying it. God. I didn't know I could be more attracted to Jimin. I can't tell if this song is like being self-aware of like i'm not sure if we're supposed to take it literally or if we're supposed to believe he's writing it like i don't know because it's bts i really don't know how deep to think about the lyrics like is it because the mu music video it's like he's tricking himself into enjoying something to get out of reality but are the lyrics also because like does he really think it's gonna be good night like is it more like tricking himself even with the lyrics or because sometimes the lyric doesn't go to the video but it looks like it does see that's why i'm like i think i think the other lyrics are supposed to be like what you assume is going to happen but the reason you're actually going is to escape and you don't want to leave like you're going to have fun and have a good time and you're like this you're psyching yourself up you're like this is gonna be great i'm gonna have fun here it's gonna be fine but then sometimes when you get there it's reality hits that it's not actually gonna i don't know i'm not good at analyzing lyrics that's just kind of my presumption of it but um Sorry my dog was barking, but um, I think I like it more than Set Me Free Part 2, I think. The constant interruptions. Okay, anyways, um, I think I like this more. I can't tell because the other song had such a shock factor. This is more what I expected from Jimin, or more I guess what I wanted. It reminds me a lot of Harry Styles. And like I said, that's not like I I compare that in such a good way, like almost like um, it, like you're the music. It, it's it's more about Jim, and it's not about the music. The music's very simple in this song. It's very simple, very just. It's very almost one note the whole time, until like about the bridge. But it was all about his voice and how he used his voice to kind of control the song. I love that because I love Jim's voice. He did a lot with this very proud of him and now i'm looking forward to the album so i'll see you guys tomorrow for the album reaction hey guys and here and today we're doing our amazing jimin's album we have a hidden track which upsets me if you're new here you know it. If, if you're new here i'm not a fan of the hidden tracks because that means we don't get the track you know what i mean like because you would have to I, the, the hidden tracks on the album, right? It's like an album hidden track, I think. That's not fun. That's not That's not cute. Like, I want to hear it on Spotify. But whatever we deal with it, it's just like, see, we accept it and we move on. So, we have Face Off, Interlude, Alone, and then the hidden track, which one of them has backing vocals from JK. Um, but I don't know. I think it was Letter. So, let's just hop into the video. Ugh. 
Look at this weird eyebrow. I'm here for it. Get out. Okay. 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 Are we cursing a lot? Else is kind of going into like crazy. My question is, why is some? Why do they only curse on their solo stuff? I don't. Like, there may be like one song. Well, never mind. Doesn't count because that was still Yungi's solo song, even if it's on a BTS album. Um, because he curses there i think but yeah because people say it's because you know they got to keep it clean but they're promoting the solo song so i don't like is it a personal choice and because it's a group one maybe some don't i, I don't know i feel like i don't think they would care why is it that all the members have cursed so far on their solo albums but they don't and i don't it doesn't matter much to me i'm just curious if there's a specific reason is it because they are a group and they're like okay we're gonna get more traction so let's try not to curse um but because it's solo it's like sure they're gonna blow up it's their solo members like they're still bts but it won't blow up as much as like a bts song is that why i don't know maybe me pray not that deep but but yeah, this is, it seems like it's going, yeah, it's the same type of vibe as, like, crazy. Hey! Hey, hey! I feel like he, he's doing a lot of venting here. I didn't think Jimmy would be the partier. Well, I guess I did. I always thought it would be Taehyung and JK. And I guess they do too. But I don't know, it's like... Jimin's music seems to be about like going to parties a lot and getting wasted and forgetting stuff. Like forgetting your issues, sort of. Which I think is very interesting. Wait, is that him talking to himself, maybe? Well, he says babe, so that's why I didn't think it was, but... It, he's changed his ways. Or is that people... His impression of people talking to him, maybe? That was very Hobie of him. I love when you can hear the influences of each other. Mm. Ugh. This album is everything I could want. Oh, there's a growl in that. It's uh, what's the song? What's it? Where's that? What's the song? He growls a bit. Is it? It's not on. Um. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Tony Montana, where he... This is Tony Montana Jimin, let's be honest. This whole album. Because early in their career, Taehyung even said like Jimin didn't get many lines because he didn't suit those songs. He wasn't very confident with those songs and everything. Um, and it's not so beautiful to see the 180 
to see the 180 because it wasn't that he couldn't do those songs it's just i feel like he was almost playing a caricature he was trying to be hip-hop rather than like almost like molding with it and blending with it and allowing himself to fit the the music he wants to do this is more r&b but whatever like this type of music uh he didn't fit well with because i think he also just wasn't he didn't have that much training with his vocals early on because he was such a short training period and I, they clearly were focusing more on dancing with him he wasn't he, he wasn't being himself in those in that music and performance so it's lovely to see the 180 and see him now releasing solo music like that. I think that's why I, I guess a lot of people are shocked at this music because for so long BTS strayed away from like Dark and Wild and uh, Too Cool for School and stuff, even though those are some of my favorite albums. Yeah. But I didn't mind because we still have the albums, so it's not like they went away. get over the eyebrows that was amazing i think it's a face off with himself that's what i'm getting maybe can someone talk about the lyrics i don't know so people think this is about somebody? I thought it was more almost about himself. But it could be. Okay. Hmm. What do you guys think? Because I took it more as him talking about himself, maybe. But hello. Hello. Hello? Did something fall? That scared me. Um, but what do you guys think? I, I would love to hear him discuss the album. I think he's going on Sushita, so... Now this is an interlude. Is it a song? Or is it one of those talking thingies? Oh, I think it's just music. Sounds like lie a bit. Oh no, it sounds like um it sounds like um my god, I wanna be a rap star, I wanna be a child, I wanna be a rock star, I wanna all my I wanna be rich, I wanna be the king, I wanna be me Shadow. <laughs> Oh, okay, I was like... That's beautiful. I love he included that. And I think this is kind of like saying the interlude of group to soloist obviously he's still in the group but like the interlude into the next part of their career their career that includes their solos maybe he's diving in i don't know <laughs> what do you guys think oh Me so like never drinking alcohol that I would have assumed that was water. So I'm glad I read the comments. Well, I would have probably figured it was alcohol because he does like to drink. That's so interesting though. 
so interesting. Okay. Okay, now we transition to this song. Wait, was this song next? No, like crazy was next. So it was face off was the first song. Oh, and that makes sense because the drinking and then you like crazy where he was at that club and everything. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be my favorite. See, that's why I think the other songs are about himself, not about a relationship. Because he's saying the you of right now, but the you is him, right? He's saying he lost his way. Unless he's talking about one night stand, that would be crazy. I think what's also worse is because BTS right before the pandemic they like moved out right most of them moved out I think they still had the dorms but it was more like where they would stay during promotional stuff or if they have something to do together I think they I don't know if they all moved out I maybe I think maybe Jimin and Hobie still stayed there but Jin Taehyung I think Taehyung maybe his was in 2020 but like JK Namjoon, Yoongi, Jin, like I think most of them moved out so not only was it lonely because of the pandemic but they were living alone which was probably like already hard to adjust to because you were used to being around people all the time but then you're even more isolated because the world's alone and you're like I would just be like bro can I just stay with you during this pandemic I'm just kidding I actually didn't mind being too alone I think him and Hobie still live together for a little longer. I could be wrong about that. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Hence the interlude. That one person said, was it his daily life that we were going through with him? One of my favorite BTS songs is Lie. So this means a lot to me. Which also a very sad song, so. I love well I don't love it I don't love it because it's sad but I appreciate Namjoon and Jimin's albums for kind of getting introspective of their mindset during the pandemic Hobie's was also but like Hobie's was more um I don't know it, I feel like it was different his was a bit different I still love it. Jack in the Box is an amazing album. 
This is definitely my favorite song. And I love he did the day and night like repeatedly because that's literally how he felt during that. I think this one has JK's song. It's JK's voice in it. Because they're trash. The guys are trash. Giving us the best songs hidden. Oh my god, you know I love Jimin's voice like this and you're just gonna make it the hidden track. I'm already mad. The most delicate little voice ever. Is he singing to the guys, maybe? I guess it could be the fans. I'm gonna say it's the guys. I think it's cuter if it was the guys. Because Jimin is often someone who, like, when the other members are crying or sad, he often comforts and hugs them. Obviously, they do it too. I'm just, this is about Jimin right now, okay? Mm. Um, but he always tries to hold together because he used to be considered, like, the crybaby of the group, and often. In the past few years, I feel like the other guys have gotten more emotional and Jimin's kind of been the one comforting them. So, yeah, I feel like this is probably about the fans, but I'm gonna say it's about the guys. Mm -hmm. Ooh, country? What, what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's not country. Specifically, like, uh, Taehyung or like Jungkook or Hobi. Wasn't he the one hugging Hobi when he cried during their speech in 2019? 2018, 2018. Yeah, like, okay, this could be about fans, but I really want to say it's about the guys. Because he's really singing music and everything right now, um, but because they'll be apart from the members during their military time, and then when he goes on military time, they're gonna be apart from him. Like, I think it's about them. Or he could be by himself again. Mm -hmm. See, see. That's a reference to their song, See, so yeah. Yeah, okay. This is about the guys, like 1,000. Spring day. Mm, two songs that mean so much to them. <sighs> I hate this. It's making me cry. Stop. This is like the group version of Friends with him and me. Like the group version of it. I don't hear Joe Cook. Am I deaf? Oh, okay, I can't hear him. Yeah, I hear him. Yeah. And I'm not really sure into the fans. They're together still. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love this. He said, we reassuring. He he's manifesting it. <laughs> is that the sea? Is that the ocean? Is that Busan? Because it's the Busan boys. <sighs> yeah. So I'm mad. 
I get it. They want to put the special songs to where only the fans will know about it. Because, but I don't care. I still want it on Spotify. Honestly, I probably wouldn't listen to it that much because it'll just make me sad. But I still want it there when I do want to listen to it. Um, but whatever. Um, that is it for this video. I don't. I don't have a favorite because they're all very different. I would say the letter is my favorite technically, but I think I like Alone a lot just because it, it reminds me of um, Nam June's um, Lonely a bit. Lonely, lonely. Is that one called Alone too? Lonely. But his is more aggressive. <laughs> his is like punch to the gut. Jim's is more like I'm alone and sad, and Nam June's like I'm fucking lonely, and I'm like yeah, I relate to both of those. So I love it. My mini money giving us two sides of the same coin basically um but yeah let me know what your favorites are and i'll see you guys in his episode with um yoongi which <sighs> tony montana let's get it so bye